Hello guys, welcome to this video. Uh, so now we will go through the uh, second unit of this SAP learning journey. It is basically the second chapter you can say in the first unit. So the first unit is discovering the SAP cloud application programming model. In the previous video, we went through the first chapter which talks about identifying the need for side-by-side -side extensibility. Now we will talk about the second chapter which is exploring the SAP cloud application programming model. So what is SAP cloud application programming model? So now again, there is a scenario which they have provided. Uh, say for example, you are a project lead at a rapidly growing company and uh, you, you face the challenge of digitally transforming the organization. And when you are digitally transforming the organization, you need to integrate seamlessly with existing SAP solutions. So basically you need to digitally transform or say for example, you, you need to create some applications uh, for your organization, which need to integrate seamlessly with SAP existing SAP solution. So this is where SAP cloud application programming model comes in as your go-to framework, right? So SAP cloud application programming is a framework which enables you to digitally transform your organization at the same time integrate seamlessly with existing sap solutions so what is sap cloud application programming model it says that okay so first of all it is abbreviated as cap cap stands for cloud application programming um, so it says it is it is not just another tool in your development arsenal it is a comprehensive framework so cap is a comprehensive framework it is designed to alleviate alleviate most pains traditionally associated with enterprise grade application development so it will basically ease and enable you in implementing enterprise grade applications so it comes with a rich set of languages libraries and tools for building enterprise grade services and applications so applic sap cloud application programming model it is a comprehensive framework which provides a rich set of languages, libraries, and tools for building enterprise-grade services and applications. So it guides developers along a golden path of proven best practices. So there are a set of best practices which are provided by SAP for um, building your enterprise-grade applications and also a great wealth of out-of-the-box solutions. Now, as we delve into the world of CAP, you will encounter several key components that holds the architecture together. So we'll go through this particular diagram. Here it talks about um, what SAP CAP provides basically. So there are a set of development tools, CDS, front-ends, service SDKs, databases, platform services, infrastructure. So what all these components mean with respect to SAP Cloud Application Programming Model, we will see it. CDS. So what is CDS? CDS is called Core Data Service. CDS is a data modeling infrastructure, also known as the backbone of programming model. That provides you with the means to capture service definitions and data models. So basically, you create your data models. Okay, your definition and data models are created using CDS. So the definition language, CDL is used. Then there are more details available in this documentation. So this is just an overview of CDS. Then service SDKs, SAP Cloud Application Programming Model has libraries available for both Java and Node.js. Okay, So CAP has libraries available for both Java and Node.js, which you can use to provide and consume services through synchronous and asynchronous APIs. SDKs include out-of-the-box integration to lower level platform services such as authentication and credential flows or on and off holding of SaaS tenants. So this service SDKs, basically it says that uh, this service SDKs, it provides libraries for both Java and Node.js. So you can consume or you can also provide uh, services through asynchronous and synchronous APIs. Uh, at the same time, these SDKs provide integration to lower level platform services. So these lower level platform services are the services available on the SAP BTP. Uh, and these services uh, could be such as authentication and credential flows on and off boarding of SaaS tenants. So these kind of platform-based services can also be integrated in your CAP application. 
Now development tools, SAP provides a holistic web-based development environment called SAP Business Application Studio. So BAS, this development tools, it is uh, the business application studio is provided by SAP, which is equipped and pre-configured with all required tools for CAP development. So business application studio is what is used to uh, develop applications in CAP. So besides this business application studio, you can also develop locally using VS code or any Java specific IDs. Databases, now for persistency layer, your CAP application, whatever CAP application you will create, you can choose between several available database options. SAP HANA Cloud is the go-to choice. So this is the go-to recommended choice from SAP. SAP HANA Cloud should be your persistency layer. I mean, this is the go-to choice. However, other technologies are also available such as PostgreSQL or SQLite for local development. Now, front-ends. As a full-stack framework, CAP is open to a variety of front-end technologies, right? So these are the front-ends which can be used in CAP application. So CAP is open to a variety of front-end technologies. SAP Fiori is fully supported. SAP Fiori is fully supported out of the box for a CAP application. So you can create or implement your UI part in SAP Fiori in your CAP application. But other UI frameworks such as Vue.js, Angular, or React can be put on top of your service. So the other these other UI frameworks can also be uh, used in your CAP application. Now, infrastructure, two stacks are available, Java and Node.js. So these are the two stacks which are available. You can, uh, like it's mentioned in service SDKs, right? That libraries are available for Java and Node.js and you can create and uh, consume uh, services uh, through synchronous or asynchronous APIs. So here again, it mentions that two stacks are available, Java and Node.js. Deployments are possible to SAP BT, BTP, Cloud Foundry Runtime or BTP Kaimar Runtime. So whatever CAP application you will develop in your business application studio, it can be deployed to either Cloud Foundry environment or uh, the um, Kaimar Runtime. Yeah. Then platform services, SAP BTP service can be integrated and consumed through SDKs. So this is what it is showing here. Platform services are the services which are provided in SAP BTP. So these platform services can be easily integrated with your service SDKs, which means these platform services can be easily integrated in your CAP application. Overview of important CAP resources. So to get an overview of important CAP resources, you can go through this official CAP documentation. Okay. So this is just a link here to get the overview. You can go through it and read it. Inside Kapair, which inside Kapair means inside this CAP documentation, this CAP documentation is called Kapair. You will find all aspects of CAP both for both Node.js and Java. Plenty of beginner and advanced sample projects are also available. Now, CAP Node.js release cycle, they, they are mentioning about it also. CAP Node.js releases, okay, whatever Node.js releases are there in CAP, they are linked to the Node.js release schedule. So CAP Node.js releases are linked to the Node.js release schedule. So CAP versioning is also based on semantic versioning, which in turn is based on the version number. So the CAP Node.js versioning is something like this, major dot minor dot patch. This is how you will see the CAP Node.js versions. The single elements are being incremented as follows, major. So a new major version of CAP will be released every 12 months and you will find that major release number here. When starting a new project, it's highly recommended to adopt the latest major release. Former releases will only re receive critical bug fixes, only patches, okay. Then the minor release, major dot minor, now coming to the minor release, active major versions receive monthly minor updates. So whatever major version gets released every 12 months, then every, every month it will receive some minor updates. These minor updates contain feature updates that are backwards compatible inside the same major release. So inside the same major release, whatever multiple minor releases are uh, updated, all those minor releases would be backward compatible for the same major release. So there are no breaking changes to public APIs of the CAP framework. Then now coming to patch between official active and maintenance release, patch versions will be shipped regularly to close bugs. So patch is primarily to close bugs. So you can re uh, read more about the schedule and review uh, 
change logs in this release notes section of the cap documentation. So this is all about this particular section, uh, which talks about exploring the SAP cap application programming model. So now we are done with the first two chapters of the first unit. I think we can just go through the quiz also in this video itself. Yeah, I've already taken the quiz, but uh, let's see. We'll go through the questions. So first question is, what is the recommended approach for adding custom business logic to an SAP S4 HANA cloud system? So when we have to add custom business logic to an SAP S4 HANA cloud system, what is the recommended approach? We know that the recommended approach is using side-by-side -side extension, side-by-side -side extensibility with SAP BTP. This is the recommended approach. Question number two, what is the programming model used in non-ABAP based extensions? So we know that SAP cloud application programming model is used in non-ABAP based extensions. So cloud application programming model. Great. So we have completed the first unit, basically discovering the SAP cloud application programming model. And we have done the quiz also. Um, I'll stop the video here. In the next video, we'll start with a, with a second unit, which talks about second, setting up the CAP project. So thank you for watching the video and uh, we'll see you in the next video with the next unit.